I am substituting no. the current no. President Terry McBride, who is unable to be here this evening. Can't hear you. On behalf of the League of Women Voters in the Lewisburg area, I would like to thank you for attending our candidates' night for the 2019 general election. One of the main missions of the League is to provide educational materials for voters. To that end, we provide a print voter's guide with biographical information on each candidate and written responses to questions asked by the League. There is also an online voter's guide at the Lewisburg League of Women Voters website and a one-stop shop for voter and election information at vote411.org. If you have not tried vote411.org, I urge you to do that. We also produce a Facts for Voters, which contains information about elections and polling places, as well as information on how to contact your elected officials. We have all these materials on the welcome table at the back, which Ruth Burnham and her membership committee have set up. Please stop on your way out and pick up any of these materials which would be useful to you. I also invite you to join our organization. Membership information, and membership is not limited to women, uh, is also available on the back table. Now, I would like to introduce Janice Bigelow, who is our faithful moderator, and who will explain the rules and introduce the first panel. Thank you, Mary. Good evening. My name is Janice Bigelow, and I will be your moderator this evening. The League is a nonpartisan organization. It supports positions on issues, but neither supports nor opposes any political candidate or party. The League sponsors these nonpartisan candidates' nights to help voters become better informed about the candidates and their views on the issues. Candidates have the opportunity at this forum to express their opinions and to answer questions from the voters. At this time, I would like to introduce those candidates who are running for office in this election, but that are not featured on panels this evening. If you will please come forward to this microphone and introduce yourself by stating your name and the office for which you were running. Good evening, I'm Deborah Sulai and I am running for Lewisburg Borough Council in the third ward. Thank you. Anyone else? Hello, I'm Jeff Rao. I'm running for Magisterial District Judge for Lewisburg, East Buffalo, and Kelly Township. Thank you. Anyone else? I haven't missed anybody, have I? Uh, you're in a panel. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, all right. Tonight, we have three panels. The first panel will be the candidates for the position of Township Supervisor or Borough Council. They are from uh, they are from East Buffalo Township, Lewisburg Borough, Ward 4, and Union Township. The second panel will be the candidates for School Director in the Lewisburg Area School District, the Mifflinburg Area School District, and the Milton Area School District. Uh, I should note that Mifflinburg it's school district region two and in Milton it's region three. The third and final panel of the evening will be the candidates for the office of Union County Commissioner. Between each session there will be a short break as we transition from one panel to another. One of the goals of tonight's event is to create an atmosphere that is comfortable both to the audience and to the candidates to ask and answer questions. I ask you to take a moment now and turn off your electronic devices or answer uh, uh, electronic devices. Please do not text, view electronic devices, or answer phones during the program. 
Talking during the event is also a distraction to those around you. Please don't do it. If you have some important business to take care of, just step outside the room and take care of it out there. Well, we have some ushers here this evening that will be helping us. And Mary, uh, they are in the back of the room, Mary Lawner. And we have Candy Duncan, and there's Candy. And we're particularly uh, pleased and proud tonight to, to have two Lewisburg Area High School students. And back there we have Hannah Abouid and Hamza Abouid. And thank you for coming. Thank you. Jackie Johnson is out here. She is recording this for him. Our event will be recorded from start to finish, and sometime within the next few days, the complete and unedited recording of this event will be published on YouTube. We will have links to that on our uh, league's website and also on our Facebook page. Over here, we have our vetters. <laughs> Come on out. <laughs> okay, we have here Imani Wilkesburg, Liz Clement, and Sherry Staten. There are vetters who will review the questions that you will be asking this evening. There has been some curiosity about what they do in that room over there. <laughs> so we would like to, to spend just a, a minute or two to tell you about that. The vetter's job is basically to screen the questions that come from the audience. So the audience questions are screened using the following criteria. They are relevant to all candidates for the office in question. They are comprehensible. They are not inflammatory. They do not contain any gratuitous attacks on any candidate. And they do not repeat previously submitted questions. Now, when the lead, there will be lead questions, and I will identify those as lead questions. When the lead gets the questions, they use the following uh, criteria. They are relevant to current issues, they are relevant to the office being considered, and they are carefully phrased as to prevent bias and partisanship. You will take this picture. Thanks. Gotta tie myself up here with this cord tonight, yeah. Um, okay, now, how do you get the questions to the candidates? Well, our ushers have uh, uh, cards and they have pencils. If you want one, raise your hand, put your hand up, something like this, and they will come to you and bring that. Once you've written your question, then just Again, hold up the card, and they will come around and pick it up. And I, we do encourage you to ask questions early. If you if you come and you have a question for an upcoming panel, in addition to, to the, the people who are up here now, we do ask that you get them in early, because there will come a point when we'll run out of time, and, and we just won't be able to do it. So anyway, our timers tonight are Carol Madel and Susan Wagoner. When answering a question, Susan would uh, show the yellow card when there are 30 seconds left to finish. When time is up, she will hold up the red card. At that time, the candidates should finish the sentence and, and stop. <laughs> candidates will be offered an opportunity to do, a, to do a rebuttal. I would just simply ask. Do you wish to do a rebuttal? They should at that time tell me they do. They'll have 30 seconds to do a rebuttal. We do encourage the candidates to continue uh, discussions with voters at the end of the, of the evening. And we 